The Xperia 1 series was developed with both camera-savvy creators and photography hobbyists in mind. With the new Xperia 1 Mark V, we wanted to incorporate the expressiveness of a full-frame interchangeable lens camera's quality in the pursuit of enhancing the camera. The fact that we were able to achieve this while still maintaining the compactness Xperia is known for is significant. Camera users want a camera that works well in low-light conditions, but this requires a bigger image sensor. When developing a smartphone camera, although the body of the smartphone itself must be small and thin, a larger sensor capable of capturing lots of light has to fit inside a small case. Every company competes in this difficult field of development. In the Xperia 1 Mark V, with a size of 1 by 1.35, the image sensor itself is approximately 70% larger than the previous models. The Xperia 1 Mark V offers next-level performance, with an image sensor developed based on a completely new concept. That's the Exmor T for mobile, image sensor with two-layer transistor pixel technology. By splitting the pixel transistors and photodiodes, which were previously placed on the the same substrate into two layers, the photosensitive area of the photodiodes is expanded and noise resistance is improved. Combined with the benefit of the larger image sensor size, its low light performance is approximately two times better compared to the Xperia 1 Mark IV. I believe that Sony Semiconductor Solutions and the Xperia camera team were able to share their wisdom with each other and were successful because we are all part of the Sony group. With the Xperia 1 Mark V, thanks to the capabilities of the new image sensor, not only is image quality and high sensitivity shots improved, but blown out highlights and blocked up shadows can be controlled by using high-speed multi-frame overlay precision technology, allowing for beautiful images to be taken with a wide dynamic range. A new night shooting function has also been added. This function allows for low noise, bright images even in low light settings, like at night. The edges are adjusted so that they are not overly exaggerated, allowing for a natural feeling resolution. This allows for the ability to capture bright nighttime scenes close to how they appear, as well as the ability to capture dark scenes with even more brightness than they have in real life, expanding the scope of photography. Another area that has been greatly enhanced is color representation. In addition to the natural and beautiful image quality that the Xperia line is known for, S-Cinetone, which is already a part of the Cinema Line series and Alpha series, has come to Xperia as S-Cinetone for mobile. The texture of human skin can be captured beautifully, resulting in more cinematic images. The new image sensor benefits from the ability to capture three times more light than the Xperia 1 Mark IV especially in bright scenes, and it reduces the noise that tends to appear in dark areas, such as under a subject's chin when shooting portrait videos, resulting in more beautiful images. Xperia focuses on natural color reproduction and textures that are not overly exaggerated, and by repeatedly checking images shot in the same environment as Cinema Line series cameras and making constant adjustments, a well-balanced image quality has been achieved. Creative Look, which has been a part of the Alpha series, is making its first appearance on Xperia devices. This is a feature that allows users to shoot with preset color tones, giving the opportunity to create images in a variety of color tones on the fly, while still maintaining the Xperia 1 Mark V's original image quality. This can be used for both photos and videos, and I think it is a feature that will be appreciated for quick posts to social media. AI is used for basic image quality controls such as auto exposure, auto white balance, and for face recognition used in autofocus. By using AI to measure the distance to the subject, which was previously handled by the 3D ITOF sensor, more precise distance estimation is possible. AI determines the base brightness and colors with both high speed and accuracy, and enables appropriate signal processing to be applied to human skin and faces. This contributes not only to recognition accuracy, but also to image quality. Our goal was to create a design that pursues functional beauty to stimulate the creativity of the user. In order to extract the maximum potential out of the new large sensor, we have created a more rigid structure 
combined with a new layout that is iconic at a glance. For the back face, there are extremely fine geometric irregularities on the glass that you need a microscope to see. We developed an etching process internally at Sony, which creates an uneven surface on the glass that we call functional tactile. For the side texture, when the camera is held in this position, the grooves and texture reduce the twisting in this direction, which makes the camera very stable and easy to use. But when you hold the phone normally, it slides vertically fairly easily, so moving positions is easy too. It's like this one texture has two different functions. It looks incredibly matte, but it has a glossy texture. It doesn't pick up fingerprints, but when you hold it, it feels both smooth and grippy. It is a really strange sensation. I think we were able to develop a material that incorporates the best of these elements and believe that users will feel comfortable using it. The One Series, the flagship of the Xperia brand, has undergone a series of evolutions to satisfy both professional creators and aspiring creators. This time, instead of just two or three steps forward, we have achieved a dramatic evolution. Even though it is a smartphone at its core, I think that it could be a powerful tool for creators when mastered as a piece of equipment.